Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to basically walk through and work uh, Mecha Bricks and, and what you're um, going to be kind of doing here. So the first thing, um, you should have already seen the Mecha Bricks uh, creating an account kind of tutorial. So now we're going to make sure we log in. That's kind of the first step. Mine's already saved. Um, once you're logged in, you'll just see your name up here and it'll bring open folders you have. You really don't need to do anything with this. Um, it's just basically for um, if you wanted to save objects and do all that kind of stuff. And if you had multiple projects going on, um, we do not. So we don't have to worry about that. So once you reach this page, you're going to come up to Workshop. And this will put you into this uh, other environment um, that basically allows you to create and draw pretty much anything you want. Um, so I'm going to bring open just to give you a quick example so that this video isn't so long. I'm going to open one. Um, that actually has, and this, oh, this one doesn't, I apologize. Let me sign into my other account. I got too many. I made a couple just so that you guys could see, um, the very, how to, how to log in basically. <laughs> so let me log in here. There we go. Um, and you can see I have a train here, but we're going to go to workshop, like I just said, and you're going to, I'm going to open up, um, just an existing file, something that I already made. And this is the train that is in the Lego set. And I just wanted to show you um, using this world what you can do. So it's a little different than Onshape or CAD or anything like that. Um, first thing is, is pan is right click. So if you want to move your thing just left and right, your screen basically, or your view left and right, up and down, you use uh, right click. Left click is now your orbit. Um, so that's a little different. Your scroll wheel is still zoom in and zoom out. And if you click in your scroll wheel, it, it acts funky. It doesn't work like a pan in Onshape. So um, those are some differences as just far as viewing. I wouldn't mess with any of these uh, things up here in the top. Um, they can they can really ruin a lot that you're doing, um, and I, I don't recommend doing any of that. So first and foremost, just leave the settings where they're at. The second thing is is when you have a blank um, you know piece or whatever you want to call it, but blank uh, you know I don't know environment, you guys will be able to come down here to what's basically called the um, parts library and search for anything and everything that is in those kits and in Legos in general. Um, everything from, you know, bricks or any of that kind of stuff. And it's really straightforward. Um, basically, let's say I go to the bricks, right? And you'll you'll learn the more and more you kind of do this, what is gonna be what and where these things come from. So you'll never have to actually draw any Lego pieces for your um, existing model. So if we go to beams, we go to something like this, I'm gonna go to bricks just cause it's pretty um, known what everybody looks at. You can press a plus next to the, say I found the one that I wanted. If you press plus, it'll give you variations of that existing model. Uh, you can also just press this little this little button here, this little box here, and it'll go back to where you were at. Um, if these aren't one you want and you wanna keep looking through the bricks library or the bricks category, there's a little arrow over here and that'll allow you to go to the next row, so forth and so forth. Um, I do wanna show you, and this is what threw me off a little bit, there are some scenarios where even after you're going through all the bricks of sloping, there's a little plus sign here. Um, make sure you try and press that because there's a lot of pieces that when I was trying to build this train, for example, I didn't see the part. It was really frustrating. Um, I tried to search for it, which I will, a great segue, there's a search bar right here, um, and that didn't work. Um, so it was really frustrating. So it might be, that's the most time consuming thing of this, is just to find it. What I did um, was I found all my parts first and you can literally just click them and they'll view and come in like you see here. Um, it's hidden behind all my stuff. But as you can see, I have um, my X, Y, and Z orbit. And if I just click and hold and drag um, one of the arrows, they will go in that exact orientation or in that exact axis. If I click, you'll see these little green, they turn red when I'm not clicking them. These little green, um, those are free moves. So if I click that, Basically, I can move it, you know, I'm moving it in a different uh, orientation, not just X, Y, and Z. Um, so you can, you know, and any of these will allow you to do that. Um, just kind of helps you move the part a little bit easier. Um, for the sake of, and if you ever don't want a part, you can click it. You saw it turn red. You just press delete or back and, and it'll work. Um, for the sake of you seeing movement, I'm going to use this bigger block here. And again, you'll see it always goes to zero, zero, the origin. Um, there's a couple things that you can do. So obviously, if you don't have it clicked, it's just going to come in as a generic color. Um, usually it's gray, um, but I changed it to white just so you guys can see it a little bit better. If you click on it, it should turn a different color. Mine turns red. And as you can see, there's a whole thing over here of, uh, you know, 
materials and um, types that you can use. I stick to solid and I just change the color to whatever I want it to be. Um, and that's kind of the first thing, you can change colors, right? If I click it again, or just stay clicked, it'll change it, it'll, it'll show you that part. Um, once you click it inside of this browser here, it'll highlight that part. You can turn them off just like you can in on shape on and off. Um, you can transform or I would say mm, transform. You can specifically move X, Y, and Z where they're at. I only mess with that once you press apply. Um, after you punch in a value zero zero um, using X, Y, and Z's um, basically platform, totally up to you. I, you know, don't mess with that if you don't feel confident. Um, so colors picking apart and now moving this, right? So let's say I wanted this part to um, rotate and click on here. There's a couple ways you can move and, and make things make things work. Uh, first thing, you're gonna probably want this part more than once, right? Let's just say hypothetically, I want this like seven, uh, two times, three times. If I click the part once and press the letter D, you'll see selection duplicated. And then I can move that over and it'll duplicate that exact same part uh, multiple times. That'll come into handy when you got, you know, these tires I had to do that for, so forth and so forth. Um, the other thing is, is once you click on one object, you can hit the letter M as in uh, milk and it'll change it from moving the object to rotation. So movement, rotation, movement, rotation, and you can rotate the object whichever way you want. Um, let's just say for the orientation, I wanted to click there. The last button or hotkey that you might wanna be aware of, are, and you can see these little nodes that pop up. These nodes just identify where your, think of them as joints inside of Onshape, right? Um, so we're gonna click one, the first one. I'm gonna actually uh, click off of it first, and I'm gonna click completely off of it. I'm gonna click that green, and I'm gonna hit S for snap, think of it. So snap point, as you can see. And then if I move over here, I want it to click right on top, not on the bottom underneath. This is the underneath version, this is the top version. And if I click on that, it'll do this. Now I got lucky and it went perfect, but you can then rotate these objects um, to make them snap and, and to go into place. Now they're not specifically like locked in. I could click that piece and again, press M and I can still move it around, but it gives you the, the illusion that it's together, um, which is all we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna delete that. Um, and again, those are pretty much it for the hotkeys and for moving things around. The biggest thing that you're gonna have trouble with is, is trying to find the pieces. So I recommend finding all the pieces, putting them all on there, moving them around this bed real quick, and then putting it together um, the way that you want. Or build it piece by piece, it's totally up to you. Um, but that's it. So that's, that's the environment, that's the world, um, and how we move all this stuff. Uh, next, we'll show you guys how to import and export it. So if you have any questions, just ask your teacher.